think you could do this? Now that's a good question. With the Q times, I you know how my Q times are, right? Very long. It's always good and it feels very nice when you want to combo fair. Alright, now I, I just killed two there, but it's very still losable. It's very, very losable there. We'll find out what happens after this. We'll find out. We'll find out. First ever game. How fast do you think you could do this? Now that's a good question. With the Q times, I you know how my Q times are, right? Very long, very long Q times. I don't know. I wish I could give you a, a an answer to how long it'd take me for you know to do this challenge, but I, I really can't answer you that, man. It's 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 very very. In terms of games, I think I'll do it within within a hundred games for sure. Um. Within within a hundred games, undoubtedly, but. It's just the Q time, so I just don't know. Alright. Uh, let's play some music now. Let's get it. Foxo settings. If you want to know my sense, that's like the only sense that I have. A sensor is... Sense is the only settings. Do exclamation point sense and it tells you. Finally placing the smurf. Yes, Sabrina. We're finally doing our first ever Unring to GM educational. So, we'll be talking about how we do stuff. This is my first game on DPS and... Took us like 10 minutes with the flexi pass too, by the way. If I didn't have a flexi pass, it probably would have taken 18 minutes. Like, that's why flexi passes are so good. And I do gotta purchase some uh, some skins. I don't know if I have any currency. So in this elo, it looks like the Rhine is just pushing up by himself. So you gotta take advantage of people who are like always, uh, you know, playing really, really up close and up front. So always take advantage of that, right? Um, I don't know what our Lucio's doing there, but you know, sometimes you gotta like kill for your team. But I was not expecting our Lucio to just die like that immediately, like real quick. So. Just waiting for the enemy team to push up on that. We can't really push with, with down the support with down Lucio. So we have to just extra safe, you know, put a trap right there. When you put traps, you always gotta put them close to like doorways and shit, you know. Spots where people are like about to walk, right? Always do that. Try to rig. Okay, I broke that brick barrier too. That's good. Kim should really push up on this. You gotta take space. Once you're down like a fucking, you know, couple targets, you just push up on that. And you hope you cap, right? With all those kills, you know, sometimes it's really hard to cap even with all those kills. It's just very hard. Why is it hard? I don't know. It's just it sometimes becomes hard. I gotta retreat now since their crease coming. I want him to roll roll onto me. That would not be so good. Oh, the fire strike! Such a good fire strike, dude. Yeah, sometimes you do get cocky with tires like that. You should not be doing tires like right in the open unless you like really know 100% you're gonna get fucking some value off that. But if you don't know like 100%, then good luck. That's all I gotta say. Don't try going for some like really, really crazy tires. He's gonna get trapped, hopefully. Oh, he's dead. Erotic, appreciate the host, bro. Good morning. How you doing, man? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Put some pressure mid. I'm gonna keep on putting pressure right side mid. Oh shit. That was a good pull. I'm gonna free to my left though. I need to help her heal real quick. Now I gotta come back into their spawn for a little bit. I'm gonna tire, but I'm gonna make sure the creep doesn't come for me right now. I gotta I gotta leave tire as soon as the creep starts pushing up, so. That's worth it, a two-piece for one. Both supports. They have no heals. They should definitely win play. <laughs> Erotic, this fucking dude. I just stream, the times that I stream, I stream like really, really like. I'm not a morning streamer, I'm still a late night streamer. Does that make sense? I'm still, I'm still late, I'm still like streaming at late, late night. I don't consider myself a morning streamer like that, right? 
now we gotta just pressure the oh Yeah, always make sure you have a, a safe concussion mine just in case, right? Don't just throw concussion mines as you see them, you know? Just make sure you always have something saved up. If you're running a Kree, if you're running a Pharah, just make sure you always have something, you know, extra. Just in case they do, you know, start pushing up on you and shit. Theoretically, we should lose this fight, but it's very winnable, like, sometimes you win fights that you should not win, but sometimes you lose fights that you should not lose, right? And this fight, I believe it's very winnable. I'm just gonna tire from spawn here and just hope for the best. Alright. Uh, let's get some juicy tires here. Easy tires. Juicy, juicy, juicy tires. Now they're running a Pharah. I think they could counter the junk with the Pharah. You know, when people go Pharah against you, you know what that is? And Echo, and Echo too. You know what that is? That shows that they're not very comfortable with the heroes that they're currently on and they need to hard counter you. Every time somebody goes Pharah or Echo, and I know they don't play these heroes against me, right? I feel very, very, uh, I get an ego boost from that, you know? It's so good. It's so good when they, they play heroes that they don't normally play just so they could counter me, right? That shows that you're doing some work and that you're putting in effort and you know, actually being a threat to the enemy team. Let me grab this health pack here. Uh, takes me out of voice chat for some reason. I'm not even shot calling either way, so... And the diva. Okay, that's actually really good. That's not good. I don't know why he was in there. But sometimes it's just out of your control. You can't really control what your teammates do. It doesn't matter what hero you pick or what hero you play. Sometimes you have, you know, those Lucios who just want to go in there and do, do whatever, you know, and die like that. What can you do about it? Tell me. You can't, there's nothing, it's out of your control, right? Now with tires, you usually want to aim for the Pharahs. Go for the Pharahs, go for the Mercies. Sometimes your tire gets fucked and it happens. It's always good and it feels very nice when you want to combo fair while like oh shit while the fair is like stationary like that that's the best time to do a one two combo on a fair it's always good all right our team's gonna have a lot of ults here that's good i think our lucio swapped off while they had beat yeah i can't really do too much about that but it is what it is Let's see that's gonna be good it's gonna be a massive team had some pressure. Had some pressure on him. Retreated him. Made him go back. Okay, now we're even. That's good. The wrench should die here. He only has mercy heals. He really should die. Copy Diva. That's not good. Them copying Diva is really strong. Copy a Diva, you're fucked. Oh, that Rhine has one health. They just got a melee in once. That dude had one health, right? Tired him. He should have died. <clears throat> wow, we're gonna lose this game. First game, we're gonna lose. Code Soup, what's up, Code Soup? How you doing, man? Cool Kid Colin, what's up, Cool Kid Colin? I went from like 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. This shit's too early for you. I, yeah, I, when I used to, like, come out of school, I would come out of school and I'd start stream up immediately. Like, I'd, I'd leave school at, like, 5.30, come home around 6, start, start up streaming, like, at 6.30, and I'd stream till, like, 12.30. It was, it was good, man. It was really good. Um, we're about to lose this game, too, man. Really, really sad. Really sad, dude. It's out of my control sometimes, you know? I had a Lucio go in and just die immediately for whatever reason I, there's no hero i could play to to make the lucio not die and i think we had a beat drop but we just didn't use it that one fight that entire fight we just did not use the fucking beat but i hope this time nobody from our team dies but we play for the pick first you know we get the first kill we win hopefully right you think no he's already all the way in there so i mean all i gotta say is good luck i don't know why they're all the way in there 
And the Lucio's at first again. It's so hard. Good sleep. And like like I said, you know, you could be a fucking you could be a 4500 player. You no joke, you'd probably still lose these games because you know you have teammates that just like to die or like to feed and it's just out of your control. Even with me on first point getting all those kills, right? All those kills first point, it was very hard. Very, very hard to uh that's good. He just had a kill. That's a, that's a really good kill right there. That's actually really, really good. Now, my team needs to push up. It's a 6v4. Now, you'd think you'd win that, right? Theoretically, you should win a 6v4. 6v3 now, even. We're taking way too long to push up. Taking way too long to acquire the space and get on point. That's what we need to do. Just get on point here. They're honest, still alive, and it's, I don't know. So sad. It's really sad, dude. Like, now the soldier's gonna die somehow, some way, when he doesn't even have to push up. They're already down one. Like, all, all people are gonna do right now is... Okay, when you get a kill, there's no reason for you to push up. Because if you get if you get picked off, you're gonna make it so they push up faster than, you know... They're gonna be here 6v5 faster than you are. People love to die to diva bombs in this elo too, I realize it's so fucking sad. Where do you usually like to position? I like position myself on high ground and like under so like high ground where I could put like pressure down a choke. Um if that makes any sense. Like on Hanamura, if I were to play Hanamura I'd position myself on um top right high ground on defense, top right. Where the echo's at? I'm gonna go for the rhino point. And yeah, sometimes with tires, you gotta scout the enemy. I know their honor was shooting the rhino there, so I'm like, yeah, if I get an angle, I could just kill two of them right there. Easy attacks. Wow. Alright, now, I, I just killed two there, but it's very still losable. It's very, very losable there. Alright, I just killed three, so hopefully we win that. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter if you drop 18k damage and fit 11. It doesn't matter if you drop fucking 30 elements in 11. It, does, it just does not matter. It really doesn't. It's just, um... Sometimes out of your control, and that's what people I feel like don't really understand. Like you can't, there's no hero you can play to help the Ryan not fucking die there. It really isn't. You wish there was, right? Though, ever. That's fine. But I, I should get res there. They should res me. I, I don't see why they wouldn't, but you see, it's like the second you die, you're gonna lose this fight. I'm gonna lose this fight right here, dude. Hug, thanks for the follow, Hug. Welcome to the stream. You have to keep it cool? Yeah, we do. We need to keep our cool. We need to definitely keep our cool. I don't get tilted over a silver match. No, if I can't get healed, I at least res me there. That's like the least they could have done for me there. At least res. Been so nice. Now we booped the right over. He would have got stuck there, but we we're like, fuck it, dude. We're gonna boop this dude over. Oh, they copy Diva. I hope Diva does not get bombed because I feel like it's gonna really fuck us up here. That was a very hard game. Now, I really want to see my stat line. Like, I'm going to say I got 48% team damage this game. 48. I'm, I'm saying 48, dude. 
Like, it doesn't matter how much you do. It really doesn't. You, it's still a hard match. Really hard. <laughs> guess guess how much percent damage I did. I'm gonna say 48. You know, I think 48 is a really realistic number. 48% team damage. 71. 38. 63. 68 for a VIP. Oh, 39. I said 48. Oh, okay, 39. So 40% team damage. Yeah, that was very hard. Very hard. 20k damage in 13. And I wasn't even getting like pocketed like that. Like, you know. The Remax, the Diva Remax is going to be very strong. It's going to be very, very OP. I don't know how much damage AoE it's going to do. Like, I know it does 250 immediately. We're going to check the experimental right now too. I'm going to check that. Dude, um... You see, it. I'm, I'm a 4,500 player on PC, 4,600 player on PS4, and this lobby was a fucking gold lobby. 